Rock and Roll. Today I'm opening up a brand new, new piece of kit, model railway kit, and this is a tidy track cleaner. It cleans your locos and also can clean, also can clean rolling stock, but also it's that sort of for coaches and wagons. Uh, it works by power from the transfer car, like from the transformer or from the track. It's made by Woodland Scenics. This one I got from Kingston on the 22nd of August 2019. In the shop in the centre. Well, most of the toy shop really, and all that. As you can see. Works with DC power track, compatible with digital command truck DC system as well. Recommend dates localized up to 12 and roll the stock up to 10. Chief cleaning all scrubbing pads, light colors. For more general cleaning, use scrubbing pads, dark colors for wheels with heavy grime build up. Always use cleaning pads after scrubbing pads to remove excess residue. And pre installed. Hmm. I'm cleaning one pad the next set two sets of cleaning pads, so scrubbing pads, and uh, Remove backing paper from from the roto pad in channel on either side on the centre rail. The pad up against outside edge of channel and press in place. Repeat with other pad. Pads include we postpone I think that's it. Tape for easy adjustment. Rotate pads 180 degrees or something like that when showing signs of excessive wear alongside edges. Replace pads when worn out. Clean around the right wheels. Set transformer to off. Three control to zero. Bring in forward or reverse position. Power Rotor wheel plane and three options A, B, or C. Insert power connector, plug into Rotor wheel cleaner jack. Okay, attach alligator clips to DC track connection to transformer. Pick three. Insert power connector, plug into Rotor wheel cleaner. Attach alligator clips to working track. Place Rotor wheel cleaner on working track. Line grooves and bottom with rails. When cleaning wheels, place fingers on both sides of one of the end guards. And by the way, if you don't want to hear all this bit, obviously skip it to the opening bit, which I will in a sec. Okay, folks. And apply the slight downward pressure. Fig five. This will keep the cleaner from sliding onto the slide on the track. Place locomotive in the centre of rotor wheel cleaner. Wheels should make contact with power, rail, power rails on both sides of centre guide. As shown on the box, I suppose, in the picture. 4. Turn on transformer, of course. Increase speed slowly until locomotive bumps against end guards. Just speed to between half and three quarters of power. Do not operate at high speed. Well, of course not. <laughs> because the fuse out, I don't want to have happen. Mainly pull engine back to rear end guard and roll forward fig three, fig six. Apply a slight down pressure repeat for approximately 10 to 15 seconds. Adjust. 
Please use zero and turn transform off manually insert wheel with repeat. Process isn't if necessary. This can have power to rotate motor wheel cleaner. Place wrong stop in center. Center of rotor wheel cleaner. Wheel should make contact with power rails on both sides of center cart. Three, roll car back and forward. Manual for approximately 10 seconds. Visual couplers clear end guards allow wheels to roll along. Pads do not apply excess pressure manually. Inspect wheels, repeat the process if necessary. This is made in China, 2011. It's still producing now. <coughs> Brilliant, this is Terrier. Well, £26, it really was. And uh, sorry it took so long, but um, six minutes later. Skip. Well, this I've been wanting to open since I got since I got it home. So, oh. I tell you, this saves you having to clean the wheels just manually. I tell you, this will save you a lot of time, and that can also take it down to my cloud core and we'll see. As well. Well, here's the cable that um, this cable is the cable you need. This bit plugs into that hole there. As you can see that plugs, that plugs into there, and these actually can actually connect to the track or a transformer. I would have thought it would have came with plugs, so you could like plug it anyway, really, besides so plugging into a transformer, which is which powers the trains, of course. But these connect to the, um, this is obviously connected to the track of the transformer, so, <laughs> be no problem. Uh, yes, okay, as it said. Oh, it's quite light, isn't it? Blimey. Oh, that's brilliant, that is. That is really good. This video in, in part two, you will see this working. I think the first first train to try and clean will be the famous Flying Scotsman. I think that'll be the first one I should probably try on this machine to clean its wheels. Also, you could use a space down really. Also, I'm really not sure how how this quite works. It's like a um, conveyor belt or something like that, or is it? Or, uh, I'm really not sure how this thing works. I know, that's just a... And you also can buy track clean, clean machines. Once they go on the rails, that goes around. But, uh... Those are probably a lot more money than the thing I've got here. Oh, 
You put it in the top of the hamster, it's a quick one of those. This thing, which is just about 30 quid. Brand new. And this was the only one they had in the shop. So I was very, very lucky to get it. Tell me. Well, I put, I, when I was in Kingston a little while ago, when I saw this before, I said next time, I, next time I go, I'll get it, and the second one I've done because this can help clear, keep my logo's wheels clean for motors, and also on the wrong side as well. This is brilliant. This is I can tell you, it's also down to the club as well. It's also clean their um, clean their wheels, clean their clean, clean their wheels as well. I don't know how this how this thing works, how this thing works or not. I just don't know. We'll see in part two. And make sure you like and subscribe. And press that notification bell in the little call as well for every new daily upload as well. And thank you for watching, folks. Train out.